Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on completing a table of values for a quadratic graph. Now we have an equation here where we have y in terms of x and this is known as a quadratic expression because the highest power of x here is 2. It has this x squared term. And we want to be able to complete a table of values so that we can subsequently draw what this graph looks like. And all we need to do is just take each of these values of x given to us and then substitute it into this equation to work out what y is. So y will be equal to that x value squared plus 2 times that x value minus 3. So let's do that for each of these missing values. Some of these values have already been entered in for us. Let's do it with the x as minus 3. Now if x is minus 3, if we substitute it into here, we have y is equal to minus 3 squared plus 2 times minus 3, and then subtract 3. There's a few things to note here. Notice that I've put the minus 3 in brackets. And the reason is, if I was to write minus 3 squared, because of bidmus, that would actually mean 3 squared and then minus that. So it would be minus 3 squared, which is minus 9. But actually, minus 3 squared that is minus 3 times minus 3, is actually positive 9 because negative times negative is positive. So we need to put the brackets there to make sure that bidmus is obeyed. And when I write this bracket here, that just means 2 times minus 3. So we do that, minus 3 squared is positive 9 because negative times negative is positive. 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. We're adding minus 6, which is just subtracting 6. And that's going to be 9 minus 6, which is 3, minus 3 is equal to 0. So that means I can put 0 here. Let's do it with minus 2 now. So if x is minus 2, then y is going to be minus 2 squared plus 2 times minus 2 minus 3. That is equal to 4. Minus 4 minus 3, and that is equal to negative 3. Now we've just got two values left, and these are slightly easier because they're positive values or zero. So if x is equal to zero, we get y is equal to zero squared plus two times zero minus three. That's zero plus zero minus three, that's minus three. And then finally, if we substitute two in the same way, we end up with five. And note, by the way, that when we have a quadratic graph, we have symmetry in these y values. Look, if we start from this minus 4 and go outwards, these are both minus 3, these are both 0, these are both 5. So you can see it's symmetrical either side of that minus 4. And that will help you check whether your values are right.